scoreless in Ruston at the Conference USA Softball Championship between the Toppers and the Owls. Kelsey Houchins in the circle for WKU, making her 16th start on the season. A 3-14 ERA, 10 wins against four losses. Opponents are hitting 235 against her. Out of the yard, Olivia Peterson starts the scoring with a home run to right. One to nothing, FAU. Well, she went opposite field. A good piece of hitting showed power opposite way. First home run of this tournament. And Peterson gives the Owls the 1-0 lead. Her team leading eighth home run of the season, her 33rd RBI. Day one of the Conference USA Softball Championship. Florida Atlantic leads Western Kentucky 1-0. About to begin the third inning here in Ruston, Louisiana. He's Malcolm Butler. I'm Chris Mykoski, and we get a great pitching duel today, and it would not surprise us at all if we have another tight one. We've had three games gone final, all of them decided by a single run. Well, you know, yesterday when all these teams practiced here, we had a head coaches meeting last night. Everybody was talking about the parity and the fact they felt like anybody in this tournament could win this thing. And so far, like you mentioned, three one-run games. we got another one-run game here, so it's proving true. There's a nice bunt by the leadoff hitter. They just get her down at first base. It feels One, like you have to keep it very close to have any kind of a chance today. There's a line drive base hit out to right field. One run will score. They're going to wave the second run home. She slides in head first. And it's a two-run single for Maya Ong. Only her ninth hit of the season, her fourth and fifth RBIs. And it's now 3-0 to Florida Atlantic. Maya Am coming off a weekend to close out the regular season where she went 0 for 9. Break out of that slump, Maya. Coming through for your ball club, knocking in a couple of runs. 3-0, Florida Atlantic leads. The Owls about hit Western Kentucky 6-1, and I think that's going to do it. I think they're going to bring both teams in. So... I don't know if this is just a rain delay or if they got notification of lightning in the area, but for the time being, both teams are being sent to their dugouts. I see Gerald Jordan, the tournament manager, heading down towards the field right now. So we will uh, tell you what, we'll probably send it to a commercial break. It is a lightning it's delay. It's a lightning Malcolm, delay, okay. So we'll be waiting for at least half an hour here for action to resume. Stick with us and be sure to follow the teams and the conference on social media. They will update you on when this one will resume between Western Kentucky and Florida Atlantic. A three to nothing lead for the Owls. Day one of the Conference USA Softball Championship. We will be back when conditions allow here in Ruston. Well, welcome back to Dr. Billy Bundrick Field. After an hour and 25-minute weather delay, we are set to resume action here. Top of the fourth inning, down four to nothing. One out, the middle infield back for WKU. You really can't afford to give up another run. You've only got three outs to play with. You're already down four nothing. A ground ball to the double uh, play is out of the question. Yeah. We'll see if they, now that that's the case, if they move them in or not. I would think they would. Yeah, your lineman has to change now as WKU is banking on a hard hit ball to one of those middle infielders. And now second baseman and shortstop playing even with the bat. Gets past the diving Webster. That'll score Peloso and Pursuity. Two more owls come home and make it six to nothing, FAU. And that's the one thing when you do bring your infield in. We've talked about it a hard hit ground ball. You don't have the angles, you don't have the reaction time. But in that situation, you have to bring your middle infield in to try to cut off the run at home. And that's the chance you take as you see Webster try to make a diving stop, even if she stopped it. One run would have scored. It would have probably prevented the second run from scoring on the play, but now it's 6 nothing. 
two of the three free passes issued by Sacco. One one pitch into left field for Thune under it. And FAU picks up the six to nothing win over Western Kentucky to close out day one of the Conference USA softball championship. We'll wrap things up from Ruston next. The Owls win six to nothing over the toppers to close out day one of the Conference USA softball championship. Our Ryan player of the game is Maya Om, the Florida Atlantic second baseman. She delivered a two run single in the third inning and then a run scoring single in the fifth coming through for her ball club on the biggest of stages Malcolm. Yeah, no, she was big time. And you're going to win a conference tournament. You're going to need to have performances from your studs like you got in the circle. But you're going to need some performances from some underdogs like Maya Alm, and that's what they got tonight. Well, the winning head coach, Jordan Clark, joins us now. And, Coach, let's start with Miss Alm. And she came in on a bit of a cold streak. So to be able to pick it up here on the championship stage, huge for your team. Yeah, Maya Alm's special. She's our fifth-year senior, and, you know, you know, it just shows you coming back for that fifth year that special things can happen at the right time for her and she's getting hot at the right time um, she was somebody that's battled to find some playing time throughout the season and it's just so exciting to see her do things offensively and defensively and lead this team and I couldn't be more proud of her um, I just wanted to give her a big old hug because offense is something that she hasn't always been super confident with so to see her come up in big clutch moments with those RBIs was awesome Obviously, the story of the night, Coach, was in the circle. Gabby yeah. Sacco showed why she's the Conference USA Pitcher of the Year. What did you see from her tonight? Gabby's a dog, and, you know, that's something we talk about. And when we talk about it, like, she wants the ball. She wants the ball. She wants to win, and she will do whatever it takes to win. And we're just happy that she's on our team. And, you know, there's a little chitter-chatter. She should have deserved the award or not, had, like, not gotten the award. And Gabby tonight proved that she's our Pitcher of the Year, and we are so happy that she's on our team. And, um, it was just fun to see her. I think a two hitter um, was in command all night. Her stuff was moving. She was smiling and to be able to come in from a weather delay and to be able to come back in and shut that shut the game out was super impressive. And um, I couldn't be more proud of this team and we're getting hot at the right time. I love the Owls. I love my staff and I'm so proud to be at FAU and I'm excited to see what the rest of this tournament brings. Well, next up in this tournament is the number one seed Charlotte. It's a team that you lost to two out of three times, but that was way back in mid March. What is the biggest change in your team between then and now? Yeah, I think we're focusing on us now. And I think in the middle of the season, we were trying to figure out who we were, who we were playing, um, and just getting caught up in the hype a little bit. Um, Charlotte is a good team. They are a really good team. They're well coached. They, they pitch it well. They swing it well. Um, and we were just focused on them versus focused on us. And these last four games, we just said, hey, we're going to do our thing. We're going to swing the bat with confidence. We're going to carry ourselves with confidence. And whatever happens, happens. And so I think you're starting to see a little bit of chip on our shoulders. We're starting to really focus on the little details. Um, we talk a lot about the process and winning the process points. And um, you can just see that our team looks a little bit different this last week and a half. And um, I couldn't be more excited to see what they bring tomorrow. Charlotte's a good, get, or a good team. We're going to have all hands on deck in the circle. And um, we're just excited to compete. We're excited to compete against the number one team. And um, if you want to win it, you got to beat the best. All right, Coach, we're looking forward to it. Congratulations. Enjoy it for a little bit before you get to your scout. Absolutely. Go, Owls. Thank you, Coach. First year head coach of the Florida Atlantic Owls, Jordan Clark. She has her team into the winner's bracket quarterfinal against the Charlotte 49ers. But our day begins with UAB and North Texas. Noon, first pitch, barring any changes due to weather. We hope we stay on schedule, Malcolm. Yeah, you look at both of those matchups, UAB, North Texas, Charlotte, Florida Atlantic, should be some great pitching matchups in those two ball games. It should be uh, a lot of fun to see those two games, and then we have a couple of elimination games after that. Lynn Rollins and Teddy Allen will have the call of those two games on your screen to start our Thursday. Our third game will be an elimination contest between Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee, followed by a game between the losers of the first two matchups of the day for everybody behind the scenes a long day with a long rain delay lightning delay we got through it four games of softball in Ruston Louisiana Malcolm thank you very much my name is Chris Mikoski and we will see you tomorrow for the Conference USA Championship on ESPN plus